Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yep, that's right, another Thanksgiving animated special for me to review, and as I teased in the last review video, yes, um, this one starring our favorite lasagna-eating cat, who also hates Mondays and, uh, you know, is one of the most popular uh, comic strip characters of all time. Yeah. So that's right, guys. I am reviewing Garfield's Thanksgiving. Yes. Garfield's Thanksgiving from Garfield and Friends and from 1989. Yeah. Um, well, first off, because, um, you know, I, of course, you know, love Garfield. Who doesn't? Um, I've watched a good chunk of Garfield and Friends. I had a DVD of, uh, you know, volume of, of episodes of Garfield and Friends from one of the later seasons. Um, that was when uh, the intro changed and, you know, come on in, come to the place where... That one, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, having to finally watch Garfield's Thanksgiving... And for the first time, and um, yeah, it of course did not disappoint. It was it was good, entertaining, and funny, all at the same time. Um, yeah, what goes on in Garfield's Thanksgiving, and if Thanksgiving is something not up Garfield's alley, because we all know how much he loves his food, and yeah, how you know fat he is as a cat, um, and dreads going on a diet and such. I mean, yeah, because that's what happens in Garfield's Thanksgiving. Until, in the end, everything's all patched up and such, yeah. When it seemed like, uh, things were not looking so good, not just for Garfield, but for John, of course. But in the end, yeah. Um, yeah. Just again, what goes on in Garfield's Thanksgiving, uh, from beginning to end, and what goes on with the characters, and with Garfield just wanting to have a nibble of something, and especially when Thanksgiving um, makes its way, and with John once again trying to ask Dr. Liz out on a date and such, and when Liz comes over to John's house for Thanksgiving dinner, and John wants everything to be so good and perfect for Thanksgiving dinner, and when at first it doesn't look so good, but in the end, yeah especially thanks to John's grandmother. Yeah, just overall, Garfield's Thanksgiving, really good. I, I really quite enjoyed this. Yeah, this animated Thanksgiving TV special. Yeah, and you know, it may not be really the best, like, like, like say, at the same level of, of a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, but it's still enjoyable, and if you you know, are wanting to watch some nostalgic, like, TV stuff, and most notably cartoons, and anything that's Thanksgiving, this is perfect. Yeah, something right up your alley. And, you know, for, and especially for any of the hardcore Garfield fans, and enjoying some of the, uh, holiday specials and materials that Garfield has done. Yeah, like, say, Halloween, Christmas, and sometimes Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, so, as always, for me, read the description slash the story. John falls for Garfield's veterinarian who puts Garfield on a diet and invites her to Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, that was a sh that, that's a short one, but, but yeah. Anyways, all right, so getting into Garfield's Thanksgiving itself. Well, uh, this takes place on a Wednesday, and Garfield, trying to wake up his owner, John Arbuckle, and to fix him some yummy breakfast. And with the help of Odie, just, you know, basically playing marching music and Odie has some crash cymbals, John does so and even, like, makes a comment. And I think, yeah, because sometimes there would be a bit of fourth wall breaking. And, well, technically, John says directly to us if any owner of a goldfish has the same problem. But I doubt that. Um... And, yeah, John fixing him breakfast, and, well, um, at one point Garfield discovers that, uh, well, on the calendar, it's Wednesday. And this is when Garfield was going to kick Odie off the table, and when he saw on the calendar, and on Wednesday, that's when John would take him to the vet, and Garfield just dreading it, and um, just, like, ripping it off the calendar, shoving it in Odie's mouth, and he sees that the next day, on Thursday, 
Thanksgiving. And, well, Garfield is very happy by this, and all the yummy food and the tradition of eating food and such on Thanksgiving. However, that's ex that's not exactly what Thanksgiving's all about, okay? Even John makes that very clear later on, and when I get there. Um, and Garfield uh, getting John's attention on, you know, tomorrow being Thanksgiving. John, of course, being well aware of this, and telling Garfield that today, uh, going out getting some food and groceries for Thanksgiving dinner, and Garfield tagging along with John, and the opening credits happen, and a little bit of a song that we get. I mean, there are two songs um, in Garfield's Thanksgiving, which were pretty good, yeah. Um, and well, after grocery shopping, uh, well, John uh, takes Garfield to the vet. Yeah. And a little bit of road rage, like, you know, Garfield causing John to not, like, not pay attention to him driving and such. And eventually, yeah, they make their way to the vet, and uh, we see the other people with their pets, one of them with a pig, and we get a, and the pig is a cameo of uh, Orson from Orson's Farm, you know, the segment in Garfield and Friends. So yeah, uh, Orson making a cameo. And when it comes to John and Garfield, yeah, and well, Dr. Liz checking out Garfield, and uh, while John is trying to ask Liz out on a date, but she's not interested at all, and uh, John just, just trying to do whatever it takes, and even, like, if she'll accept, you know, the offer of him out on a date and such, he'll hold his breath, and that's exactly what he does. Jeez, John. Like, not a good idea, but he does so. And, well... After Liz checks out Garfield, um, she gives the report that um, Garfield is healthy, but she recommends that Garfield should Garfield should be put on a diet, and Garfield doesn't like the sound of that, and Garfield dreading, and there's so much talking between Garfield and Liz, and while John is still holding his breath, and ultimately, well, Liz does finally give in and accept uh, John taking her out on a date, and, you know, because... It's not because of John holding on to his breath, and even when he passed out, it's because Garfield passing out as well, collapsing, and, you know, she can't bear to see the sight of a cat collapsing, and, and so on. And John is happy as he can be that she has finally accepted. And, well, uh, their date will be tomorrow, Thanksgiving dinner, Liz being invited to his house for Thanksgiving dinner. And John determined that Thanksgiving dinner for tomorrow and being with Liz will go perfectly as planned. Um, but as for Garfield, because he is not, he's not a happy cat because of going on a diet and when at one point, like John gives Garfield half of a salad and the next day, like Garfield's still mad at John. And even when John placed Odie in charge of keeping an eye on Garfield, if he ever like goes to the kitchen or goes for something on the counter, and if whenever Garfield does so, Odie would blow the whistle and John would be summoned. <laughs> and even when Garfield tried to attack Odie, well, blown the whistle on Garfield. And yeah, like there's one moment where Garfield is trying to go for some of those jars, like cookies, sugar, and so on, but Odie just, like, popping up uh, in those jars from big to small. Even the whistle goes from deep to, 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 you know, high because of the, him being in those sized jars. It's funny. And, well, Garfield basically, because he, uh, still pissed by this, he, uh, basically uh, then uses garlic to ruin Thanksgiving dinner. If he can't have anything, you know, and for Thanksgiving dinner, then no one else should. And yeah, so planning on ruining Thanksgiving dinner, and you know, that's a big blow for John towards Liz. And then, yeah, when the time comes, Liz shows up the next day, and uh, yeah, uh, Thanksgiving dinner is not fixed yet, and well, while John is busy in the kitchen, Liz interacting with Odie a little bit and with Garfield, and Liz uh, feeling kind of bad for Garfield because when she then goes into into detail on what happens to someone if they go on a diet and such, like have dementia and hallucinate and just twitch and 
and not able to breathe and such. And so, so she changes her mind on Garfield going on a diet. And Garfield is more happy to to the uh, to about this and is just you know kisses her on the cheek i want to say yeah and that's when yeah because what can he do now since he ruined the, the the food for thanksgiving dinner yeah um well i mean how is he really supposed to know that this would happen and such and so garfield tries to fix this and when he enters in the kitchen and, and can see that john is in trouble uh with the turkey and that's when garfield comes up with the solution uh bringing in a telephone uh a pillow and a sweater and basically uh giving hints and, and an idea for john to basically call his grandmother yeah and when he finally shows a picture of john's grandmother that's when oh i'll call grandmother john you're a genius <laughs> and of course he can't understand garfield but yeah but Odie can, so, and the other animal characters in Garfield and Friends. Um, so yeah, John then phones up his grandmother for help, and, well, it doesn't take too long, right after John hangs up the phone, that Grandma steps in, and in a, on a motorcycle, well, because she's got the motorcycle gear and the motorcycle helmet, and, yep, Grandma steps in and saves the day. John going back into the living room to keep Liz um, companied and just, you know, while grandma is fixing Thanksgiving dinner, and yeah, while she's fixing Thanksgiving dinner and interacting with Garfield a little and, um, just, uh, asking Garfield if, if her, you know, grandson has been feeding him and, you know, asking Garfield if he would like this and that and that. And by the way, because early on, when Gar, when, when John, I should say, John was trying to figure out what to wear for Thanksgiving dinner, all the clothes and outfits that he wears, and Garfield helping out, being the judge of what looks good on him, just, you know, always, just, yeah, not good. Even at one point, John puts on a gorilla suit. Okay, yeah, obviously, that's not gonna work. But ultimately, yeah, he does uh, remain in his clothes, but he technically, yeah, like, puts on a coat and a tie, which that works, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and while Grandma is still in the kitchen, along with Garfield, uh, John, keeping Liz companyed as well as Odie, but by that point, Odie has fallen asleep, and John going into full detail and is being serious, and Liz realizes that he's being serious on the meaning of Thanksgiving, the pilgrims, and the mentioning of Abraham Lincoln, and so on. Gotta admit, like, John is very smart at knowing history, especially on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, Liz should be very impressed with it, but despite the fact that she's this close to falling asleep, which ultimately she does, but when Thanksgiving dinner is finally fixed and Grandma heads out the door, well, she says to Garfield to, you know, s s make sure that, uh, and that, and that Liz knows that John, her, her grandson, is the right man for Liz. Um, and you know what? Like, wouldn't underestimate John Arbuckle's, John Arbuckle's grandmother because, you know what? John definitely seems like the perfect guy for Liz. And I think, yeah, because later on in the, in the later Garfield materials, yeah, we had something like that as far as I recall. But, yeah, very smart and wise on what uh, John's grandmother says to Garfield. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, well, Thanksgiving dinner is finally fixed. Garfield, um informs John and, well, you know, Liz waking up as well as Odie, and Liz and John both surprised at the sight that they're seeing on the table, the wonderful Thanksgiving food that's been made, yeah. And, well, we see all four of them at the table eating Thanksgiving dinner and, like, a few funny moments where Garfield steals John's plate or Odie licks and takes a piece of corn that Liz was going to have. And, th and then in the end, they all hold hands, being thankful. Yeah. And after that, well, right before Liz leaves, um, she, you know, this was a good Thanksgiving for her, and John asks that they can do this again next year, and she's more than happy to. And right before she walks off, a kiss on the cheek for John. Yeah, that's nice to see. Um, 
yeah. And after that, well, because uh, John recommending Garfield and Odie that they should take a walk, and because their belly's sticking out, and <laughs> Odie's having trouble trying to get off the couch, and then Garfield steps in, this time with the whistle. <laughs> First Odie did that to Garfield, and now Garfield, Garfield does that back to him. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, because, well, Garfield having some funny lines and such, and especially from the late legendary voice actor Lorenzo Music, and yeah, to name off the other voice cast members, Greg Berger, the voice of Odie, uh, Tom Huge, if I'm, yeah, I think I'm saying that right, who voices John Arbuckle, Julia Payne, the Payne, if I'm saying that right, the voice of Dr. Lenz Wilson, and I was, I was thinking that maybe this was her, because, and it is, yeah, the voice of Ursula herself, the late Pat Carroll, voicing John Arbuckle's grandmother. You know, especially there are a few times where John's grandmother laughs, and the way that Pat Carroll laughs, especially Ursula, how can you not identify that laugh? <laughs> Just, yeah. And also, um, Linda Gary voiced uh, Wild Turkey. Okay, yeah, but uh, yeah, just again, like, some funny lines that are in Garfield's Thanksgiving, most notably Garfield himself, <laughs> like a comment he made on when John puts it all together that he should phone his grandmother, and Garfield making a comment, if John Arbuckle had a brain, then we'd be doomed or something, and also after, you know, right after John's grandmother walks out the door, and Car Garfield making a comment that they don't make this kind of feast any anymore. What, what he says, you know, a comment on the Thanksgiving dinner that, you know, thanks to John's grandmother she made. Helped make, I should say. Yeah. And again, the songs that play, um, the two songs that, that play in Garfield's Thanksgiving, pretty good. And just, yeah, overall, Garfield's Thanksgiving is a really good, entertaining piece of Garfield material that's Thanksgiving-ish. The story, pretty good. And with what goes on with the characters, the funny moments, and how, you know, at first things aren't looking too good, but at the end, they turn out really good. And again, it's thanks to John's grandmother. And nice to see that, you know, Liz was impressed and, you know what, possibly giving John a chance, you know, and both of them going out on, on a date and such. Yeah. Um, and with what goes on with, say, Garfield and Odie, and of course, most notably, Garfield himself. <laughs> yeah. And, well, the animation, I mean, because how can you not love the animation from Garfield and Friends? Just, yeah. Something about it, and, you know, from the late 80s and early 90s, just, yeah. Yeah. Overall, Garfield's Thanksgiving, an entertaining, you know, piece of animation material on TV that's Thanksgiving-ish. <laughs> yeah. And I'm giving Garfield's Thanksgiving, well, uh, yeah, why, it's, yeah, why not? It's on my mind, yeah. I'm giving it 8 out of 10 stars. Yes, 8 out of 10 stars for Garfield's Thanksgiving. And what about you guys? What did you think of Garfield's Thanksgiving itself? Is it one of your favorite Thanksgiving animated TV specials to watch, you know? Um, is it one of your favorite uh, Garfield holiday materials? And uh, which are some of your favorites? And, you know, any of you that have watched Garfield and Friends or any other Garfield materials, just, yeah. And with what goes on in Garfield's Thanksgiving. Yeah, just overall, what do you think of Garfield's Thanksgiving itself? And with what I've had to say, my review, and yeah, what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review video a like, as always. And so, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Garfield's Thanksgiving. More review videos are coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care, happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and peace out. Mondays. <laughs>